Hey, what's up everyone? Richard here, and welcome to the 33rd episode in my Payday 2 Weapon Guide. Today we take a look at a very unique shotgun, one that despite its small caliber, still manages to deal immense amounts of damage. The Judge. Despite its name, it is actually based on the Taurus 4510 PLYFS revolver, and is most likely chambered for the 410 shotgun shell. The 4510 is a smaller version of the original design known as the Judge and was developed in 2010. Though this weapon is highly impractical for combat, its high concealability and simple use would make it excellent for self-defense and assassinations. In-game, the Judge deals incredible damage despite its diminutive caliber, making it an excellent secondary choice for a variety of playstyles. Base damage comes in at a healthy 95. This is notably higher than almost any other shotgun in game. This high base damage also lets it kill tan FBI with a single headshot, and easily kill cloakers with two. Once upgraded with shotgun impact, you can quickly blow through the face shields of bulldozers and finish them off without reloading. This will also allow you to double tap headshot tasers as well, making this an excellent choice to use against special units. Range for the Judge will be on par with the Locomotive, at 16 meters. While this is a bit limiting, most engagements where shotguns are effective will be well within this range. One advantage of using the Judge is its ability to quickly empty its cylinders in just over half a second, with its rate of fire coming in at 500 rounds per minute. While in most circumstances, you will need to pace your shooting, it can be very helpful when paired with Bulletstorm to quickly clear rooms. Stability is very low, However, not an issue considering this weapon is a shotgun, coming in at just 3. While your view will be thrown off target if quickly firing, you should have no trouble downing opponents before your sights are thrown off. Accuracy is also quite low, with a base rating of just 6. This is excellent if you plan on using pellet based ammunition such as Buckshot or Dragon's Breath. Still even slugs and HE rounds will be effective considering the range limitations imposed on the judge. Like with all shotguns, lower accuracy is generally ideal, as the larger spread will allow you to hit multiple enemies with a single trigger pull. Magazine size is rather limited. One shell per cylinder limits the judge to just five shells. This means that while you will be dealing out extreme punishment, reloads will unfortunately be quite frequent. This also places a high emphasis on hitting your targets. Weapons like the Raven and Locomotive can at least afford to miss, as they will have plenty of ammo in reserve. The judge has no such luxury. Though your reloads will be very frequent, they will at least be painless. Since the judge is a revolver, it requires no rechambering. That being said, it will just take 2.25 seconds to reload the judge, regardless of how many rounds have been depleted. With shotgun CQB, however, this will be reduced even further, making reloads very quick taking just over a second. Do be careful on how much ammunition you do deplete, as the judge has a rather low total ammo pool of just 20 shells when using normal ammunition. When equipping triple op buckshot and dragon's breath, this will be reduced by 6, and slugs and HE shells will reduce this total ammo by 10. The lack of total ammo again emphasizes the need for hitting your mark almost every time. Ammo pickup is also very atrocious, even with fully loaded ace. So bringing an ammo bag may not be a bad idea if you find yourself constantly dry. Since the judge is limited on the amount of mods it can have, it is a fairly simple weapon to adapt to. We will be focusing on making it effective at quickly clearing rooms of enemies, a last resort when our primary runs dry or is ineffective. For our ammunition, we will use the standard ammunition choice since we will have very few shells in reserve. The barrel extension should be fairly obvious. The shark's teeth will improve damage as well as pellet spread, bolstering its close range effectiveness. Our gadget choice will be the LED combo as usual. However, those not looking for such a bulky add-on may wish to use the compact laser module instead. While an optic will improve our visibility while aiming, as well as our stability, I find the weapon becomes much too cluttered with the addition of an optic, however this is purely subjective. Skills will play a bigger role in shaping the use of this weapon. 
Whether you decide to use it as a main or backup weapon is your choice. The usual complement of shotgun skills including shotgun impact ace, shotgun CQB, and overkill are a must. Fully loaded ace will also make up for the pathetic ammo pickups. The biggest improvements from skills and modifications will be damage and total ammunition. Stability will also be improved via shotgun impact and mods. Accuracy is also reduced, making the weapon have a much larger spread. The Judge is a quick and very deadly shotgun, boasting the second highest damage of any shotgun in game, as well as a very quick fire rate and reload. However, its small magazine and lack of total ammunition will be its biggest drawbacks, and its limited range reduces its one-shot kill potential. Overall though, this is a very worthwhile secondary, especially for players who use a long-range primary. While you may not be on the good side of the law, this weapon will transform you from a criminal into the police's judge, jury, and executioner. Thank you very much for watching, and join me next time as we take a look at the piglet, but until then, farewell.